must say that neither one of you look... Are you sure you have the right one? Yes, damn it. They're all alike. I know that. You said you knew exactly which one it was. I do. This is it. Then why won't the ring open it? If I knew that, Van, we wouldn't have the problem. It has to be the ring. Will you just, just, just be patient and shut up, will you? Are we going to stay here all day? I knew the duplicate wouldn't work. It'll work. It'll work. The impression I made was almost perfect. <laughs> Obviously, almost is not going to do it. course in advanced studies in something that's truly relevant to your life. Oh, yeah, man. Aztec history is really up-to-date oh, stuff. Yeah. Drop out like you wouldn't understand the thrill of scholarship, you know? I know all I need to know about Aztec history. Thank you. You just don't understand me, Frisco. Well, that is because you still think there's going to be a pot of gold at your doorstep. My great-grandmother swore to me there was a treasure. I have a right to believe that. Yeah, remember when you wanted to make it number one on the music charts? Dimly, very dimly. You wouldn't listen to anybody, and that's the way it should be. You shouldn't have the right to discourage her. I can imagine Frisco having such big aspirations. Yeah, I knew him when. Mm -hmm. I'm with you on the treasure, Felicia. I'll get it. Get that, will you? This is pretty good. You haven't lost your touch. Oh, it's yeah. oh, yeah. cold out. Um, oh, you didn't forget you were going to pick me up? No, no, you're good. good. Hi. Hi, Tanya, good. how you doing? Good. Hi, Josh, Frisco. <sighs> Felicia. Good morning. Well, I hope you have snow tires on, because there was an ice storm last night that will make us fly right off that road. <laughs> I can feel it in here. Mm -hmm. Well, college is closed on Mondays, and I have to get a job. I have to look for an apartment, and I think I'll be going Yeah, home. and I definitely have snow tires, so. Good. You know what? I got an idea. Tanya, you, you live alone, right? Mm -hmm. And you got an extra bedroom. So why doesn't Felicia move in with you? Huh? Who's gonna do the dishes? Um, You're changing the subject. Yeah, I am. I think Tanya would like her privacy. Um, actually, I was thinking of sharing expenses with someone anyway. We could talk about it. Yeah, I'd suggest you think a little bit and talk a lot less. Now, let's go, okay? Uh -huh. Yeah, come on. You ready? Yeah, we're going to get on. Bye. Bye. See you. Bye. Ciao. Oh. Be careful. It's slick out. Mm -hmm. No, we will be. Right there. Why didn't you take the offer Tanya gave you? It's a nice place. You do want to get rid of me, don't you? Oh, that breaks it. I mean, really, Princess. I've been asking you to stay here the whole time. Now you tell me that I'm trying to get rid of you. You know, I'm getting a little fed up with this. How do you think I feel? You know, I do not want to be the one that has to figure that out. Do what you've got to do for a change. You can't afford to waste any more time. And be fussy. Oh, thanks. Yeah, well, this ought to brighten the spirits in this place a little bit. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm going to warm up some coffee. You want some? Oh, no, thanks. Frisco. 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 It was the night before Christmas and all through the house. Got a picture, Felicia. You want some hot cocoa? Please. I'm chilled all the way through. Oh. Well, um... We got a Christmas tree here and the decorations. That ought to warm you up a little bit, huh? Yeah. No, no, I'll never be warm again. How'd it go? Not good. Josh, get that cocoa warm quick and get it over here. This little girl's freezing and depressed. Uh -huh. Wait, that's we need it. I got an offer as a Christmas wrapper. Uh huh. And I'm a good Christmas wrapper. Yeah. But. It's going to be over at Christmas Eve. And if I took that job, that means I wouldn't have time to get a regular part-time job before school starts. 
Um, oh, what am I going to do? Well, what kind of part-time work did you want to get? Well, maybe I could be a waitress. I used to wait tables at Grandmother's Hacienda. Okay. Let me ask you something. Um, you do have some money, right? Yeah, I, I have enough income from my father's insurance for a modest rent. Uh-huh. You know, um, I better get to the market and pick up some food, because we're really oh, low on everything. We need bread, you know. Oh, well, thanks, man. All right. Take care. Oh, my keys. Be right back. I just want to make some money for living expenses, and I want to be able to support my grandmother every month, and I just want to stand on my own two feet. So what you're saying, basically, is that you don't need me anymore. I don't want to need anybody. People need people, Felicia. It's more important than work or an advanced degree. Tony was right. Dropouts don't make it. Yeah, I've got news for you. I've got a big future. Teen talk? She's way up there talking down to me. We just have different aspirations, that's all. Why couldn't there have been just a, a little bit of treasure? Well, look who's here. Hello, ah, Holly. Robert. Hello. <laughs> Commissioner and his lovely wife. Jimmy Lay, Celia. Hello. I heard you had a big adventure in Mexico. Yes, and he's ah. determined to keep in shape until the next one. Ooh, did Grant say he'd be able to make it on Friday? I'm counting on him. Oh, good. Okay, Robert. Lead on. <laughs> I'm Don't kill yourself, Robert. Hey, what's this? I gotta thank you, darling. Good morning. Sending me for a flight with the Seminal bureaucracy. Well, I'm always ready to save you from just about anything, if you remember. Yes. That's Grant. Should we say hello? Why not? Hello. Well, hello. Oh, hello there. Please join us. Yeah, I could uh, use a seat for a bit. Uh, Celia says you're going to be joining us on Friday. I can't wait to meet this fabled friend of Robert's. Yes, I've heard some of those stories, those WSB stories about <clears throat> Donnelly and Robert. Well, Grant can chip in a few about the BBX. Oh, now you're hiring <laughs> me as entertainment as well, huh? Okay. Uh, Robert's going to try and persuade Sean to stay in Port Charles for a while. <clears throat> oh, well, with the three of you, then Port Charles will start getting the reputation of a place where old agents are put out to pasture. Huh? <laughs> what old No, agents? no, 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 I meant retired. <clears throat> better, retired. thank Maybe. you. Much better. Yeah. Uh, Robert just can't envision Sean as a, a, as a retired citizen, I don't think. It's true, I can't. Well, you never know. Perhaps. What can I uh, fix for you, Warren? Part of Frisco Jones is being performed today by Kevin Bernhardt. Now what? Good morning. Did I wake you up? Yes, as a matter of fact. What is this? Oh, didn't I tell you I was going to meet Donnelly in New York? I thought you changed your mind. Now, why would I do that? I can think of several reasons. You don't have a place to live. You need a job. I can do that later. I made plans for us to do it today. Look, Frisco. I'm going to New York, and I'm going to meet Mr. Donald. I still say you're making a mistake. You've made your points, Frisco. I can think of a couple more, at least. Fine. But I'm still going. And nothing you can say or do will stop me. Why are you glaring at me? Because you're acting like a child. What? That's right. An irresponsible child. I was going to help you. What do you do? You go fly off to New York looking for some stupid picture. Would you just relax? I'm not going for a week. I'll be back on the late flight tonight. Oh, yeah? And then why the suitcase? It's not a suitcase. It's, it's a, just a little tote bag for makeup and things that I might need. I'll tell you what you might need. You need to settle down. You need to find an apartment here, find a job. 